No! Come on. We can be late. Oh. Right, Joe. Kids are going to school. No, we don't mind. Uh, made a pot of tea. It's all right to be here. Look, uh, I can't thank you enough for letting us stay here, mate. Oh, don't worry. You're about to earn your keep. <laughs> well, a two-day a week, man, in a temporary post office. I could do with a bit of hard graft. What you doing? Haymaking. What, where the sun shines? Townies. Sheer muscle, mate. Bursting to be let loose on Yorkshire farmland. Well, I can't say we don't need a hand. What with Michael going AWOL again. He reckons Eric Pollard murdered his mother. Well, man, I know it's pulled a few strokes in the antiques business, but uh, murder? No chance. OK, then back to the land. You drive the tractor and uh, what do I do? Labour. You wonder how you ever manage without me. <laughs> and after today, that's it. After today, Eric Pollard won't be seen in such a caring light. Folk will see him for what he really is, a murderer. Where are you going? Digging dirt on Pollard. I'm staying here. Digging the dirt on Nick. Elsa's entitled to fight for what's hers. You'd do the same in her shoes, we all would. Promise me something, Michael. Yeah, if it don't come right, I'll drop it. Do you mean that? Yes. Now you're talking sense. Oh, I know it'll come right. There's only one tiny piece missing from Jigsaw, that's all. Be careful. Yeah, all right, I'll see you later. So where are you off to? I'm going to the surgery. I work there as well as the wall pack. Somebody has to pay for your child benefit. Look, I know Nick may appear to be Prince Charming to everyone round here, but I'm not exactly the Wicked Witch either. I hope not, for Alice's sake. Eight o'clock tonight, then. Somewhere very expensive. Of course. Uh, 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 aren't we forgetting something? The funeral, where is it? Oh, yes. It's going to be a small ceremony at the crematorium in Skipdale, about 12.30. Turner's expecting you at Hotton. Don't tell a soul, or well, this time I really will be run out of town. Eight o'clock, then. This isn't on, Elsa. I don't like you disrupting a routine, especially when she's got nursery. I was just passing. Yeah, well, just pass on, will you? I thought you'd be there and back by now. Well, as you can see, we're not. Why are you late? Because we slept in. It happens. Not when she's with me, it doesn't. Oh, well, aren't you the perfect mum? And you, the imperfect dad. Don't push it, Elsa. Do you often shout when Alice is around? Oh, you are the edge. You really are. I bet your statement's full of crap, too. I'm not prepared to discuss anything to do with the court case unless my solicitor's present. Oh, we had a stick up for the rules all of a sudden, aren't we? Shall we get you some ice cream after school, eh, Precious? No, she'll be sick. Well, she's never sick with me. Maybe it's psychosomatic. Maybe this environment makes her unhappy. Especially with you and Archie being so close. You are really asking for it, Elsa. For what? Violence or justice? They are different, you know, Nick. Most judges think so, anyway. Right. Don't worry, darling. You'll see Mummy soon. Come on, Alice. We ought to charge his owner for the ride. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. I wasn't serious. Well, if we can let the kids ride on him, he'll enjoy it, so will the kids. Make this place a bit more attractive and we make a few bob into the bargain. What's wrong with that? I don't believe you, son. <laughs> you? <laughs> we could mind to report you to the RSPCA. <sighs> Cruelty to horses. A horse, anyway. He's enjoying himself. I'd charge him if I thought he could pay. I wouldn't put it past you. You look exhausted. How did it go? Well, despite Pete Drury's doubts about my strength and staying power, his mare's now the proud mother of beautiful baby foal. Great. Let's hope he spreads the word. <laughs> All night session, was it? More or less. Well, he might have another in 11 months. I'm putting tender light to a stallion this afternoon. Best of luck. Thank you. Kim doesn't need luck. She's got me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he liked it. I just knew she was up to something. I could tell by the look in her eyes. Nobody will believe her. Yeah, well, blood sticks, Mum. It's as simple as that. Yes, you're right, it does. Nick, nobody will seriously believe that you and Archie were 
having a relationship. Yeah, well, it's what the judge believes. That's what counts. I don't see how somebody who pretends she's so civilised can end up slinging this kind of muck. Oh, I do. It's easy. It's going to be like this, Nick. Perhaps it'd be better if you settled for joint custody. It isn't like that anymore. Mum, both parents get joint custody so no one can opt out of any responsibility, especially the financial one. So what's the argument all about, then? <coughs> the residence order. Who does Alice live with? And if Elsa can use Archie to weaken Nick's case. Go and see Zoe, Nick. See if she'll come forward. You'll see if she'll come out, you mean. <sighs> Elsa's getting right up my nose. That was obviously her intention, Nick. Right. Well, I'll go and see Zoe. See what she's got to say. Where are you living these days, Seth? Oh, I'm all right. I'm living with Betty's. She'll be actually if something suitable comes up. Are you looking? Oh, aye, but we've got to get it right. Can't afford any mistakes. Oh. Me and Miss Betty are getting on in years. And just what sort of relationship do you and Miss Betty have? Very good sort. Really? I'm not sure as I approve of this sort of carry-on, especially at your age, Seth Armstrong. And I don't know as I need your approval, eh, must really. Because when you get to my age, there's no sense in beating about butts. That still doesn't make it right. Would you like some sandwiches making for when you all get back? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, thank you. That's very kind. No trouble, Amos. I must say you two gentlemen are both looking very smart. You'll do Shirley proud. We will and all. I only hope we're not swamped a bit press. Oh. I'm afraid Clive will be at the crematorium in Skipdale. Oh, <laughs> he'll have a long wait then. He deserves it. That's it, gentlemen. Right, that'll do the trick. No more whining out of him. Hiya. Hello, Nick. <laughs> Don't mean you need a mange injection as well. Could do with a word, though. Uh, those rumours about me and Archie being gay. Yeah. I think Elsa's going to try and use them against me in this fight over Alice. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, we know that. But the court may not see it that way. Archie didn't come forward and deny the rumours to Zoe because he did... Well, it was the last thing we spoke about before he was killed, and I was wondering, if it comes to it, would you be my witness? Would you tell them that Archie was straight? OK. You'll tell them that Archie was protecting your name? That's what he was doing. Yeah, I'll tell them. <sighs> battle appears to be getting messy and I'm going to scotch the rumours about Nick and Archie being gay. Okay. Why? Because they're both irretrievably heterosexual. Or were in Archie's case and I'll tell whoever needs to know. Solicitors, judge. And you. say what? But the gay person in the story was actually me, not Archie. And he was just covering for me because I was unsure about going public at the time. And you should still be unsure. Sure. You're trying to establish a new business. What's that got to do with it? You have enough biases to overcome as it is. You don't want the bad publicity. Who is running this surgery? Who is paid for it? You're young and female. And farmers like their vets to have muscles in their spit. You'll overcome their prejudices in time. But if you stand up and make a public statement about being gay, then you'll create a bigger barrier than all the others put together. I am not vowing to prejudices of any description. Quite right, too. I applaud the principle. But any new business needs as much goodwill as it can get. Ah, so does the Heritage Fund. Now we're talking. There are some things that concern me more than Samson, you know. All I'm asking is that you think it over for a few days. I have thought it over. I'm making a statement, or whatever it is I have to do. What about you? Will you be a witness? Are you 
ashamed of everyone knowing that my sexual preference happens to be for women? Not at all. All I'm saying is that Nick's a reasonable lad. Forget it, Dad. I can't let Nick's chances of keeping his daughter be jeopardized by my silence. You handle that pretty well, Frank. I only want what's best for her. Come on. Let's go. We've been stitched up. So we're not finished yet. Get out the A to Z. You never do that for him. Huh. You spoil him. It's her big day. She deserves spoiling. Wants to look her best. Kim? Phone. Oh, right. Thanks. Hello? Did I hear someone mention lunch? Yeah, you did. Come on. Has your daughter had lessons before? Fine. We'll send you all the details. Lunch. The nurse you just phoned. Alice is ill. They want me there now. Oh, I want you to mow the lawns, you know, the flower beds. Can't your mum help out? Well, she's in Skipdale for the day. It's just that I've got some important visitors coming this afternoon. Well, Alice is uh, OK at the nursery, isn't she? Surely they'd understand if you're late just this once. Going, Downey. This is the life, mate. That one with the land covered in muck. Don't know how lucky you are. Oh, yeah, it makes a change from inner city life, I suppose, but uh, it's hard work all the same. Oh, no. Running a post office is hard work. This is holiday. Oh, yeah, I agree. Well, you actually start dry stone walling, fencing, digging ditches. That's when it gets to you. All right, timed it well, have I? Oh, yeah, we've just given you an easy baptism. Don't want to knack you the first day. That was day two, three, four, five, and six coming up. All right, no problem. You fancy a cuppa? Oh, I can murder one. I'll take a break then. Go for that. In about an hour. Right, OK. You haven't met Lucky Boy. I don't know how to tell you this. Alan's old friends, they're Shirley's old friends. It's only right that them folks should be a, They cared about Shirley and she cared about them. I am... I never knew how or, or why she, she became... Didn't you ask her? I was waiting for the right time, I suppose. It, it never came. Maybe I, I just... I didn't want to ask, I don't know. We never asked each other. It's a last resort, usually. Why did she work at the centre? Because she was a good woman with a good heart, Mr Turner. Yes. Yes, thank you. Well, go on, then. I'm sorry. I couldn't get away from work. Well, you're here now. <sighs> Single parent and that. It's not easy. I do understand, Mr Bates. But when a child is ill, she needs to go home as soon as possible. If only for the protection of the other children. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. 
Where is she? This way. We don't have the resources to cope with children who need one-to-one -one care. My boss is great, but he's not a charity, and he still let me leave early. Don't you have anyone to help at times like this? No, not really. What about Alice's mother? Oh, she, she doesn't care. She's not interested. Gentlemen, uh, she, she had no fear, you know. And if she didn't like anything, she, she'd say so. She put me right once or twice. No, she said I was, I was the most pompous, self-opinionated man she'd ever met. <laughs> and she just laughed at me. Uh, I spirit it, surely. Uh, yeah. And a right nice sense of humour and all. No, she needed that. I must marry it to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, to Shirley, then, eh? Oh, yeah. To Shirley. Voices down, people just went to a funeral. Oh, well, at least we agree on something. Am I supposed to be impressed? Well, it's one bit of mud that won't stick. <laughs> it's good you're getting help, Nick. God knows you need it. And it's even better it's free. Therapy should be available to all unstable people. You're the one who's unstable. What do you tell your therapist? Everything. That's none of your business. Do you tell him the truth about you and Archie? That's the truth. You promise to keep your voice down. That's the truth about Zoe. But as for you and Archie, who really knows? Oh, you're sick. <laughs> Said the man in therapy. To tell the therapist how you forced me out of our home and away from our daughter. Oh, here we go. You should do. You'd feel better getting it off your chest. Where is Alice, anyway? You know where she is. With her gran again whilst her dad's out boozing. I'd spend 24 hours a day with her if I could. I want what's best for Alice, and so will the judge. You won't say that two years ago, Elsa, when you walked out And <laughs> when I was forced out by well, someone were... who presents this public image of a caring father, who's really this happy-go-lucky, or do I mean gay, young lad? Oh, that is so cheap. Who we both know exists on a short fuse and is liable to do something completely out of order. Oh, like what, for instance? Something like this. Oh, what was that for? You just did, you you did neither that. time nor place for this sort of behaviour. No, no, Come on, lad, come on, say... let's forget it for now. Come on. Can I get you out, else, lass? Pass the water, please, Amy. What are you playing at? She threw it over herself. If that's true... Why would I lie, Cathy? When are you going to learn? You knew she'd bite dirty. Now when she does, you look shell-shocked. Wake up, Nick. It's war. Well, well. I owe you a drink. You owe me nothing. Every picture tells a story. And we got an exclusive, thanks to you. You stitched me up, or at least you tried to. And I'll have to cancel tonight. I'm white washing the goal. <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Lynn. If there's ever anything I can do for you. <laughs> not really. You're not my type. I want a word. Several words, in fact. Do you mind? Mr. Turner has just come back from his wife's funeral. Well, I've got things to say, and they won't wait. Oh, they will, Michael. Believe me, they will. All right, Alan? You've got the patience of a saint, Jack. Excuse me, Amos. I hope you're proud of yourself, young man. What's happened to you? Second baptism. You what? Oh, never mind. Look, I know why, everything. I'm just going to go over there and tell him. Are you coming? Well, yeah, I'll fully over in a minute. All right. I thought Samson might turn out to be a bit of a lad. A bit of a lad? He's lucky boy's pimp. That horse has cost me a small fortune. Should both be put in solitary confinement for three weeks. You said he owned the place. Yeah, well, I didn't think he was listening. Can we join you?
You were small time, in debt, way out of your depth. You were desperate for money. You'd do anything. Who did you know that had money and how could you get to him? Frank Tate. So you tried to involve me mum, but she had too much of a conscience. She wouldn't go along with it, so you panicked again. I don't tell me. I... <laughs> I then tried to put the blame on you with a typewritten letter to the police. Is that it? Hey, Yeah. <laughs> well, go on. You can't leave it there, can you? Well, I've only just started. She's gonna blow a whistle on you anyway. That's why she threw you out of house on Christmas Eve. All them carol singers outside Woolpack saw it right embarrassing, that was. <laughs> yes, it was. So you had a choice to make. You either shut her up or you go to jail. Bit like you, really. What? You are becoming an embarrassment. <laughs> and then the aeroplane dropped out of the sky, providing the perfect cover. <laughs> Is that it, eh? But your mother was babysitting for Nick that night, wasn't she, eh? Well, she wouldn't leave Alice alone, not in a million years, would she? Eh? How is it she was stuck in a field? Is that it, eh? Hey! You killed her! You're mad! You prat! You're the one that's mad, everyone knows that! <laughs> well, come on, then. Tell us some more. This is getting very interesting. You cracked her up in the skull and dragged her out of the house. Village was in chaos, it was blacked out, and nobody saw you. The perfect crime. Uh, a bit like uh, this one, uh, really. Uh, you left her in a field to rot. You made hundreds of thousands of pounds on her insurance money. You killed her, you're murdering. What's going on? Uh, 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 he killed her, he told me. Everybody in Woolpack knows I'm here. Hello, yeah, it's me. I think I've... Don't be stupid. He did. He did. He tried to kill me. I've never seen him like that. He tried to kill me. Look, shut up. Where are his car keys? In his jacket, probably. You've got to go. It's the only way. Don't phone, don't write. I'll go first.